Crushing news for East and Chan fans this week. The Mandopop King is calling it quits. Oh, why? Another nasty bit of news. The great G-Dragon is a victim of racist remarks in Paris. <gasps> How dare they? But it's not all bad. Chinese actress Tang Wei and Korean director Kim Tae-yong got married secretly in Sweden. It's been a rocky week for the stars, but hang in there, cuz we've, we've got the juice. You know how embarrassing it is when you're caught by your mom in the bath? Well, imagine your mom and her friends all staring at you butt naked. This awkward situation happened to Korean star Song Seung Hyun when his first R rated film, Obsessed, was released. Has your family members watched the movie? Yeah, 물론이죠. 어, 저희, 어, 사실, 어, 저희 어머님께서도, 어, 이제 친구분들과 여럿이 단체로 가서 보기로 했다고, 그래서 제가 어머님께 말씀드렸죠. 이거 좀, 엄마 지금까지 내가 했던 영화 중에 가장, 음, 야할 수도 있는데, 그냥 혼자 보시죠 그랬더니 그래서 아줌마들이 더 좋아해서 다 같이 갈 거라고 <웃음> 너무 좋아하시더라고요. <웃음> But will you consider watching it again with your mom? 어, 아니, 보, 같이 보지는 않았어요. 예, 네, 같이 보지는 않았고 어 별로 그렇게 싶지는 않은데요. <웃음> The 37-year-old auntie killer may be a hit with the women thanks to his pretty boy looks and drew wordy apps, but Seung Hyun said he was very shy during the filming of the nude scenes. He even had to wrap up his special bits with tape. In fact, he said that his first time doing sex scenes exhausted him more than any action sequence he has filmed. Don't we all want to support his sheer hard work? Yes, his hot bot has nothing to do with the fact we want to watch the movie or that we can gaze at his chiseled good looks or... <coughs> Get a hold of yourself. Obsessed opens in Singapore on July 31st. You've got to give it to Aaron Kwok. He plays many tough guys in movies, but he's got guts in real life too. While everybody has been umming and eyeing, Aaron asked Prince William right to his face. Are the rumours true? Is Kate pregnant? He met Wills at the Royal Charity Polo Cup in London a week ago. And, and, what's the answer? No, not pregnant! Aww. Further convincing all of us that he's got spunk, Aaron also said that he is not afraid of flying on airplanes despite the recent MH17 tragedy. Apparently, he also flies the same route as the MH17 while travelling to the UK. But just to be safe... Oh, we've missed Rain! And his hot bod, and dimpled smile, and... Hang on! He's coming back to the small screen with SBS new drama, My Lovable Girl. It's been four years since he's acted in TV dramas since The Fugitive, Plan B. Well, he's been busy with the army, his music tour, his reality TV show, his album, and even Hollywood. The busy star will be charming his way back into drama land and our hearts with My Lovable Girl, which is set to air on 17 September. Hot out of the oven, SM Entertainment has finally revealed the complete lineup of their new girl group called Red Velvet. And the final member of the group is Joy. Until now, the record label has kept her identity a secret. So far, all they've revealed about Joy is that she's a talented 18-year-old in her last year of high school. Ahead of Red Velvet's official debut on the 4th of August, SM unveiled photos of the girls and a music video teaser. You gotta be bold. Just rock the world. The record label says that Red Velvet will be feminine and passionate. But already there are some who are unimpressed. Fans of another SM girl group, FX, felt that it was wrong of the agency to debut a new girl group since Suli of FX has just gone on a short break. There is speculation that Red Velvet's debut may spur YG to unveil their rumoured girl group Pink Punk this year. It's gonna be a clash of colours. Oh, it sure feels good to have YouTube back. The super junior leader was discharged from the army after two years of military duties. But wait, why did he to quietly leave the army base avoiding his fans and the media? Aww, but his fans went all out to celebrate his return by raising a whopping 6.5 million won to plant a forest in his name. 
They even flooded social media with messages of welcome, causing Yitook to trend worldwide. And even though Yitook requested for a quiet discharge, fans showed up anyway. But when the press started questioning Yitook's attitude, his fans jumped to his defense. Take it easy guys, Yitook organized a secret fan meeting that evening where he thanked his fans. But because it was a private event, no photos were allowed. Also, it's been a difficult year since his father and grandparents died in a suspected murder-suicide this January. And hey, Lee Tuk's hard at work rehearsing for Super Junior's upcoming 7th album and their world tour in September. We know you aren't snubbing anyone, Lee Tuk. Just when Lee Tuk's back and the band has finally reunited, one of the Suju boys have to leave and join the army. Fans have to say bye to Shin Dong next month when he enlists for compulsory military duties. Stop! It's a red light for Suli! The FX singer is taking a break from work according to her company SM Entertainment. Last month, dating rumours involving her and hip-hop artist Treza were reignited after someone found photos of them together in his wallet. Suli has also been absent from her group's new album promo activities, so fans think she's gonna leave the group. Her agency said that she was down with a bad flu. But her groupmates failed to mention her in their thank you speeches at the Inkigayo show. How strange. Anyway, FX will be performing without her at the SM Town World Tour in Seoul this August. It could just be that Suli is busy filming her two movies, Pirates and Fashion King. Get better soon, Suli, you'll be missed. Well, looks like Sayama's having fun. Yeah, but not anymore. After this video of her dancing in see-through lingerie was leaked online, TVB suspended all of the actress's projects, including a hosting job for her own entertainment show and other guest appearances. It's a heavy price to pay. Saya implied that her ex-lover Wang Ziti, for whom the naughty dance was meant for, was the one who uploaded the video on the internet. But Zizi, a businesswoman from mainland China, insisted that she doesn't have the video and didn't put it online. Zizi also claimed that Sire was lying about being drunk in the video. According to her, Sire is usually cautious about what she consumes due to health problems and allergies. Looks like theirs was a nasty breakup last December. Sire has already called for police investigations in the matter before their sex tape gets released too. Another beautiful star off the table. Yup, Tang Wei is taken. The Chinese actress Tang Wei and the Korean director Kim Tae-yong have secretly married in Sweden. The two made a pilgrimage to filmmaker Ingmar Bergman's house at Four, a small Baltic island off the coast of mainland Sweden. The lovebirds are huge fans of the late Swedish author. Apparently, they wanted to commemorate their visit by having a last-minute wedding ceremony in his estate on 12 July. Organizers of the Ingmar Bergman Film Festival took part as witnesses to the ceremony. Local residents of the island even attended their reception the following day. We shouldn't be too surprised by the sudden wedding. The SK2 ambassador takes life by the horns. Even Tang Wei's first love and ex-boyfriend Zhu Yuchen gave his blessings. The Chinese actor who first met Tang Wei in 1995 said that though they're no longer in touch, he won't try to forget their past together. Aww, that's sweet. Anyways, Tang Wei and Kim will hold their official wedding next month, which will be open only to relatives. Hmm, I wonder where that will be. He's been called superstar, fashion icon, a perfectionist, and Jing Chong? The big band leader was the target of racist remarks when he attended the Yves Saint Laurent show at Paris Fashion Week last month. Bystanders called out Ching Chong and Ni Hao, derogatory terms for a Chinese person. This international superstar is Korean, by the way. Not that he looks bothered by it at all. Paris the city was a little nasty to him, but Paris the celebrity is backing him up 100%. Paris Hilton calls G-Dragon her favourite K-pop artist. Do you have any Korean music you like? 
Yes. Oh. I like G-Dragon. GD? Paris met GD at the Mnet Asian Music Awards last year, where she presented him the Best Singer Award. The two also enjoyed some boxing action together at the Mani Pacquiao vs Brandon Rios match last November. Who cares about racist people when you're living it up? Am I right or am I right? That's how Eason Chan's fans all over the world are feeling right now. Crushed. <laughs> The King of Mando Pop says he is quitting the music industry in two years' time. Eason made a shocking announcement on a radio show recently. The singer who debuted 19 years ago said that he was truly tired and did not want to work anymore. And with the music industry doing poorly, Eason was discouraged that his recent album, The Key, had only sold 900 copies. But his manager Katie Chan denies that he's retiring and says the star is only taking a break to recharge. Well, I hope she's right. Clearly, Eason wants out. I 